Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Morius and I make art tutorials that are fun, easy and accessible for everyone. Today we're going to be doing a wine glass in the Derwent Ink Tense Pencils. This is a beautiful set um, that we are going to do a little tutorial on how to use these pencils first. Um, the main drawback to these is the color on the barrel and the color on the tip of the pencil do not match whatsoever. So you're going to need to swatch those out way before you get into your project. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to basically show you how I'm going to use these like a colored pencil. Now they are uh, ink that is water soluble. So you can mix these with water and get really vibrant shades. But you could also layer them the way that you would layer a color pencil. So I've picked out three shades of the Ink Tense pencils. I picked out a light tone, a mid tone, and a deep tone. And I'm gonna layer these like I layer the color pencils. And the color goes down really pretty nicely. But these pencils work more like a watercolor pencil so that when you activate them with water, the colors get incredibly vibrant. But we're gonna go in with the first circle just like um, dry, and we're gonna just layer and see how they layer. Um, and then I'm gonna put in some white, and basically when I put in the white, it pretty much burnished all those colors together, which is fine. So your white areas, you're gonna wanna keep white because it will, kind of blend all the other colors in with it. So on the second circle, I'm doing the same thing, going in with my light tone all over, and then I'll go in with my mid tone and my deep tone, and then we're gonna activate it with water, and you'll see what happens when the water activates the ink. So I was able to get a really, really great uh, point on the pencils. Um, they have a hard enough base in the pencil itself to sharpen to a really fine point, which is really nice because you can get some really fine details with a nice sharp pencil. It'll also help you to control the pressure on your pencil and not scar your paper too much. So um, I would suggest that you keep them pretty sharp. Now I'm going in with the water and you can see how amazing these colors look when they are activated with water. They just pop right off the page. They're way more vibrant than any watercolor pencil that I've seen or any color pencil for that matter. So it really comes up with a really, really vibrant um, effect. So obviously the paper choice has to be considered before you start any drawing. You want to have a paper that can handle the water. Um, so I suggest maybe uh, a hot pressed watercolor paper. I like a smoother finish uh, like I use for my color pencils. Um, but you want it to be able to handle the amount of water that you're going to put on to blend these colors together. So make sure that you pick the right paper. Um, any kind of watercolor paper would be fine, but I do prefer a hot press watercolor paper for this so that it acts more like a color pencil, but it can take the wet of um, activating. So I'm just going in, I just did a little uh, sample of blending blue and yellow to make green here. And the nice thing about this is you can go in with just a wet brush and pick out some of the um, pigment and lighten it up a little bit. Now you can also use a brush right on the pencil itself and put the color on the paper that way. The ink tents also comes in blocks that you can use more like a watercolor, but it's a water soluble ink. Um, so you can use it that way in conjunction with your pencils. I think you can get a really nice uh, detailed effect. 
So I think one thing to be careful with here is that the pencil will activate the minute it's touching anything wet. So if you don't let your drawing dry a little bit before you go back in with the pencils, uh, you can get really sketchy effects. So I would do what you need to do in um, and then let it dry and then go back in and put more details in with your pencil after it's dry. So before we get into the drawing, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, I subscribed, and I'll be sure to get back to each and every one of you. And while you're at it, smash that like button. So I'm going to use all the techniques that I just showed you in our little demonstration. I'm going in and I'm just lightly, with very light pressure, the same as colored pencils, going in and I'm adding in all of my tones. Now, it's really important to always start with a really detailed sketch. And basically, I have my glass down in um, just a light graphite sketch, and then I'm going to go over with my pencils. Now, I'm just putting in a very, very light coat and trying to map in all of my tones, my mid-tones, my dark tones, and keep my highlights um, kind of pure and out of there because like we did with our example, the minute you put white down, it will burnish all those colors together. So if you wanna keep something like a really bright white, you need to leave the paper kind of pure um, at the beginning and, and not go over it with water or with your other pencils. So I found with these pencils, you don't need to put a lot of medium down to get um, a lot of color out of it. So a really light coat really pops when you add that water to it. So we're going in, I'm just activating it, let it dry, and then I'm going back in with my deeper tones and just kind of looking at my reference image and adding in and just deepening everything up. And we're gonna do several layers the way that we would use color pencils. And we're just gonna keep adding and um, going along. So I'm, that's, everything is dry right now. And then I'm gonna go back in with the water. We're gonna activate it. And then we're gonna let it dry again. And then we're gonna go back in again. So you can pick some of that color out with a clean, wet brush. So you can lighten up some areas, but you have to be careful with it. It's not like watercolor. It's a little bit more permanent than watercolor. So you won't be able to get it all up the way you would with a watercolor pencil where you can add the water and blot it off with a tissue. You can do that to a certain degree with these pencils, but um, you have to be a little careful with it because it won't come up completely um, the way a watercolor will. So you, you, do, you can lighten it up, but it is a little bit more difficult with these pencils because they're ink. Now, before you do any activation with water, you can erase these pencils a little bit. You can use an electric eraser or a stick eraser, like a Tombow Mono Zero eraser. You can get up that pigment before you activate it with water. Once it's activated with the water, uh, you really can't erase it. But, but in the beginning, if you um, mess up before you start to activate it, you can lift it up with an eraser, uh, like a pencil. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit about the Inktense pencils. And um, if you'd like to follow me, please subscribe to my channel. I love that you guys are all on my team. I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. If you guys have a request to see a tutorial on a certain medium or a certain subject matter, please leave it in the comment section below and I promise I'll get back to each and every one of you. Thank you so much and happy art.